Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is, I, I can't, I'm not supposed to say it's March, right? Okay, it is not March, and we are back with another Q&A where we do it as always. I like it when it's silent in the background. Well, we do it as always. Uh, Dennis hands me question, questions. Dennis hands me questions that the team have selected that I have not seen, and I'm going to answer them. Thank you very much for the questions this year. I don't know. We had something else to eat today. I don't know what it was. First question by Tom Sawyer. I like the book, by the way. I have to say that. Is it possible to get your autograph on a gas cap? You mean the little thing on a? Yes. Next question. <laughs> um, by Supercar Trender. Will there be a car someday completely manufactured and designed by Brabus? That is an interesting one. I get that question a lot. And we have been, a pro we've kind of, we're inching our way forward because if you look at cars like the XLP or cars like the Crawler, each time we build a new car like that, it's not really tuning anymore. It's more like specialty uh, vehicles and it gets more and more and more complex each and every time. Are we going to get to our own car someday? I don't know. Would I want that? And again, I'm going to say, I don't know, because it's a different business model than we're in today. I know a lot of fans are waiting for it. I think there would be a market and an audience for it, but us being an independent family business, actually pretty conservatively run when it comes to the fundamentals, AKA the numbers, it's a bit of a different animal. We would turn into a different company, but it's one of the possible scenarios for the future. Let me say that because I don't, I really don't know if it's going to happen. There's a few ideas that we're working on continually. And I think you're going to see cars get more and more complex in the future. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Next question. Bye. Sh champ champagne. Sh Can we just put the username? Can you guys, it's, it's champagne Leon. 381. What's, what distinguishes Brabus from other tuners? Interesting. Well, I think what distinguishes us from, from other companies in the same industry is that we have continually reinvested into our business for the last 45 years. And that has led to both resources and capabilities that are different. I'm not going to say better because that's for you, our customers and followers to decide but that are different. Um, we certainly invested more into our business across uh, over the decades than um, I think uh, anybody in the industry. And so that leads to a different size of company and that leads to a different, that leads to different possibilities. Um, I think we've got quite a clear design language across the years. As I've said in many videos, we're aiming for the typical Brabus one second wow effect each and every time and our black and bold design language is something we keep close to our hearts. We specifically check each and every product for the design clues and the design features that make it a typical Brabus product, um, which by the way made it especially interesting for me to see Brabus sized, Brabus -sized versions of for example the Porsche 911 Turbo S and the uh, Brabus sized version for, of the Rolls Royce ghost last year uh, during our signature night. An advantage that we have is the amazing talent that we have in the company. We've got, as I met, say many times, and you're going to hear me say that time and time again, the greatest team in the industry, at least I am absolutely convinced of that. And I don't want to work with anybody else. So um, I think that's, that's a key differentiating factor. We've kept the same um, talent, the same key people for a long time. We've got many, many team members that have been working here for 10 years, 20 years, sometimes even 30 years now during our last Christmas uh, celebration. I had the honor of giving somebody their 40th um, a Jubilary Award. And that certainly makes for a lot of strength. But let me throw the question right back to you guys. What do you think distinguishes Brabus from other tuners, tuning brands, or um, as we would today say, luxury mobility brands? Put it down below in the comments. I'll be reading it very carefully. Next question from Cornelius Daya. Do you prefer to drive a classic car or the latest vehicle models? Actually, I like both. They're completely different worlds. A classic car gives me different things. Let's say driving a W111 3.5 Cabriolet, which is a superb classic, one of my absolute favorites during summertime is a pure blast. Brings my heart rate down. It's a lot of fun. You can, you know, you can get up to four people in it and generally everywhere you arrive, everybody 
loves the car, it's very stylish, very elegant. But of course, it's not a car you can use for traveling long distances. It's not a car you want to use on a daily basis. That brings me to the modern cars. There's a lot of modern cars that are very different, even within our product portfolio, between a Brabus 900 based on a Maybach and a G900 Rocket Edition, or for example, the Brabus sized version, Brabus 820, based on the Porsche Turbo S992, um, or even a 1300R motorbike. There's so many different modern vehicles, and they, they each give me different things. Generally, and I've said that many times, I'm a I love big GTs. I'm a, I'm a pretty relaxed driver. Um, so I enjoy the car. I enjoy the technology. I enjoy the power the car has, but I also enjoy the comfort, the creature comforts and the features it has to make me feel good. So, I mean, not surprisingly, I'm a big fan of a masterpiece interiors and I'm a complete sucker for details when it comes to those. And so it depends on what car you look at. Next question. What was the most beautiful road you've ever driven? I think um, the most beautiful road I've ever driven from the top of my head, that is highway number one in the USA. It's a beautiful highway that leads you from all the way down to San Diego up to, in my case, San Francisco. I drove it from San Diego, res uh, respectively the Orange County or Los Angeles area, all the way up to San Francisco. It's an absolutely stunning road. And with North, Calif North California being one of my favorite areas on earth, because it's absolutely spectacularly beautiful. Um, that's gotta be the most beautiful road I've ever uh, driven or the most beautiful uh, stretch of road I've ever driven on. Next question by Keta1990. Does Brabus actually have its own museum where you can see all the models, for example, older supercars like the CLS Rocket? The answer, unfortunately, is no, we don't. We have a lot of models on display here at Brabus HQ. We do, at the moment, not have our own museum. Have I been thinking about it? Absolutely. There's very practical reasons why right now we don't. There's a lot of renovation and re restructuring, rebuilding going on at Brabus HQ right now. You basically, you can go, I mean, I do a lot of company tours when we have guests over here and you cannot do a single tour without stopping at least five, six, seven times to explain that there's a construction site and things will look different in a few months. That's been going on since last year and it's probably gonna go on for another year. And um, a part of that is also completely new facilities to display our products, a new reception area, a new showroom, and a new uh, studio for all colleagues of the media who want to take pictures and videos of our products. That's um, been something I've been working on in my mind for the last five years, operationally for the last, uh, in my mind for the last 10 years, operationally for the last five years. And it's going to take a while and the company is literally transforming every single year. So you could, you could come back every single year and the whole departments would be in different places. And that is a good thing because there's a lot of movement and it's also a bad thing because there's a lot of noise and dust. But maybe that's in the future. Um, what's definitely in the future is that from, 20, uh, from 2024 onwards, you will be able to come to Rob's HQ in Bottrop and look at and experience our products, that is cars, boats, motorcycles, in a completely different environment than before. Next question by Mr. T. Hurley. Nutella brot mit oder ohne Butter? Nutella bread with or without butter? Yeah, that's an easy one. Definitely with butter. If you, I mean, you gotta go all the way, right? If you, <laughs> if, if we are saying, there's a certain, there's a certain uh, qualified audience behind the camera. Ben? No peanut butter? I don't eat. Are you allergic? No. Are you I have not grown up with Nutella, so I don't eat peanut butter. Oh, so Dennis is not a real German? <laughs> what about you guys? Peanut butter. Peanut butter and with butter, yes. Peanut butter with butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm not a big chocolate fan and not a big sweet. Okay, we've got, we've got, we've got. Uh, it's the worst. Okay, guys, there's too many. Okay, there's too many passionless people here at Brabus. We're not able to, go, to to really do a statistical analysis of whether we were supposed to eat peanut, uh, Nutella bread with or without butter. So I'm going to decide it for myself. We're only going to eat, uh, eat Nutella bread with butter from now on. Right? And what happens to the people that don't? Well, then they probably won't get as fat as I do. But uh, <laughs> still. They get thrown off the campus. <laughs> Next question by Shukso. Will there ever any, be anything for the CLA? It's a good one because um, it, it makes me think about a few decisions we've taken in the past. We have had a lot of parts and accessories for smaller Mercedes Benz model in the past, such as the A Class. 
uh, CLN, of course, there's a few things that we will always have for those cars as long as they exist. And that is, for example, wheels. Wheels, power upgrades, uh, aka power, Brabus Power Extra, uh, for both diesel and uh, gasoline engines are available for the CLA. But when it comes to bigger conversions, we are clearly focusing on the bigger cars because that's what makes economical sense. Um, is it gonna change? Probably not. What does the restoration of a Brabus Classic car look like? The, uh, as we say, six star restoration of a Brabus Classic car is a very specific process. It takes about two, two and a half, sometimes three years to rebuild a car from the ground up and it's and as close to the original state as we can get it. It's probably, it's still, it's still going to be an old car, but properly restored to absolute pristine um, concourse condition, to, so to a condition where you could actually exhibit it and win prizes and where you, to a condition where you can perfectly drive it every single day. Um, we have done a lot of videos about the restoration process. There's a documentary on the 300SL Warhol that we just sold during Sotheby's Art Auction Week in November in New York. And there's also a documentary on Brothers Classic as a whole. Um, we're gonna put some links in the description for you to check out. Last question by GansKevin146. What is the main focus at Brabus in brackets uniqueness. Depending on what you're aiming for, um, I think I can say the main focus of Brabus is what we call the Brabus one second wow. It is, our main aim is of course within our realm of activity, uh, that is right now cars, boats, motorcycles, and a few accessories to those. Uh, the main focus is to achieve what we call the Brabus one second wow effect. It means we want to create products that wow you, that you see and you realize what it is, you associate with the brand, and you decide that you would love to have it within one second. If we can achieve that, good. If we can't, we probably haven't done as good of a job as we should have been uh, should have been doing. That's the main focus, but of course, there's a lot of a lot going on in terms of strategy, and there's probably between 100 to 150 different projects going on in the company at any given point in time. So that's a question where we could go into a lot more depth, but we don't have time for that today. Guys, thank you very much for your questions. As always, it was a pleasure. Keep sending in your questions. We're getting more and more, and I love it because it's interesting each and every time. Put them in a direct message, put them under a video in a comment. We're gonna look through them and answer as many of them as we can in the upcoming Q and A's. Also, if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you next time.